Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ian and you're watching The Weekend Painter. In this video I'm going to show you how I apply my water slide transfers. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you get notified of upcoming videos. So this just came in the post. I've been waiting for a little while, a couple of weeks, from Light Industries. And they are the decals for Mementos Legion. So I thought I'd open these up, have a look, and I'm gonna get them on some models. So first impression, they're not as bright as I thought they were gonna be online. They look very bright red, but I'm quite glad actually that they're a darker red than the, they look to be. So I'm going to put these over three different, four different colours. I'm going to put them over a white shoulder pad, a black shoulder pad, a silver pad, and I'm going to put them on the green of the Dreadnought body and just see how they come out. I've got the, there's two options. There was clear or battle damaged. And I went for the battle damage because my marines have got battle damage on them anyway and I thought it would look a bit odd if they've got nice clean crisp chapter symbols with battle damaged armour. These ones are obviously for the bigger bigger things, the tanks, these are pretty big so I'm not sure what I'm going to find. Maybe cover an entire door, the rhino or something. And then you've got smaller ones here, full of names, places people get through them put them anywhere you need to really and then we've got some smaller ones in circles I find places for these to go but along here we've got 60 of the ones to go on just normal shoulder pads so that's 60 marines and then a mixture of lots of different larger ones dreadnoughts vehicles bikes anything like that um, I'm gonna have to end up buying maybe another set because I might need more than 60 of the standard ones. But first impressions, pretty cool. I'm gonna get them cut out and I'm gonna be putting them on a few models. So I'll show you, if you don't know how, I'm gonna show you how I prepare the decals and how I get them off the, the sheet and how I apply them. Whilst I'm waiting for the decal to get soft and to come off the paper, I'm going to take the model and I'm going to take this Microsome from Microscale Industries. So the instructions on the back explain that it's the first part of a two-step process. You're supposed to finish this off with something called Microset, but I haven't got the Microset. I used to have it. You take this part and you paint it on the area of the model that's going to have the decal. So I'm going to cover all this area here. You can't see because it's completely clear. You can see that it looks wet. There's no pigment to it. There's no color at all. Once that's ready, I'm going to check what the decal's doing. I've had to cut this slightly smaller because they're not the same as the Games Workshop decals. So I had to slightly amend it. So I'm just going to gently move this round. I'm not using the sharp part of my knife because I don't want to cut it. But I want to see if it starts to move. There you go. When it starts to move, that's when I know that it's almost ready. Almost ready to go. I'm going to get something a little bit softer. I'm going to play around with it with this brush instead. There you go. It's moving a bit with the brush. So I should, if I start playing at the corners, should be able to start to lift the decal. There you go. So that is ready. It's nice and soft. It's sliding around on the paper nice and easily. So now 
I need my tweezers. I'm going to pick it up from the paper. Try not to get any of the actual decals. Probably hard to see in the camera there, but you've got a fine film. And I don't want to grab this film because if I do, then I'll be pinching it with my tweezers. I want the whole thing to be able to move. So I've got to grab the paper, but not the film. And then get the model, which has been prepped. And I like to hold the decal where it's going to be. Need a better angle of this camera here. I like to hold the decal where it's going to end up being. And then gently place it on the model and just brush it off. Just start teasing this decal until it moves, until it does what you want. You get a certain amount of time of them being wet. And they start to dry. Once they fold, they can be a bit of a nightmare. But if you're patient with them, you get a bit on the model. There you go. So now I'll move that paper out of the way altogether. I don't want that at all. Okay. It's going to be better angle. So now I'm going to play around with this. I'm just going to keep moving it until it ends up being where I want it to be. So at the minute, it's a bit too. It's not straight. There you go. This is how I want it. More straight, but obviously I want it more into the middle. So we'll probably lose, we'll probably get some dodgy camera angles on this as I move the model around, move the decal around. There's always a way. Keep the brush wet. It keeps the decal itself wet, stops it from setting. Grab some microsol. You can always get something which is hard and drag it around. So the brush is nice and soft. This, as long as you're gentle with it, you can drag it around with the knife. You could use a stick, you could use something which isn't sharp at all, but I'm already using the knife at the minute. Position that where you want it. I'm pretty happy there. The only thing I'm not happy about is how it overlaps this, this line here. Which is not a problem because I can let the, the decal itself set. And then I can do something about that line. So I'm going to just give it another coat of Microsol. Where I've seen air bubbles or anything, I'm going to just completely cover the whole thing. With Microsoft and then leave it to fully set and see what we end up with. Hopefully these air bubbles disappear and I can start to cut into that to make it better. So that's one done. So I repeated the same process with the other decals I'm going to use. I've cut them out, I've set them down on the wet tissue paper and I'll give them a little bit of a move around. That one's ready, that one's ready, that one is ready, that one's not quite ready. So I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna apply it to this space machine. I've already painted his shoulder pad. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. Put a bit more of the Microsol on it. Push it around just to get the whole thing covered. Then, I'm going to bring this into it. Just gently pick it up. Make sure I've still able to move it. Camera angles are all off on this video. What you're going to get. So I'm going to place this here because this is roughly the shape, uh, sorry, the, roughly the angle that I'm going to want it to be set at. And I'm going to 
just gently try and tease it off again. And if that's not working, because it's too soft, I'll grab my knife. There you go, and I'll pin it to the model. There you go. Perfect. So that's gone on fairly well, actually. I'm going to just try and wick away some of this moisture. I don't want too much, it'll sit on the surface of the water and it'll raid the surface, which I don't want. I want it to stick to the model. But we're taking a flat decal and trying to stick it on a curved surface. So if you can see here, these ridges and bumps. So there it's not actually stuck to the model. I can get my brush underneath it. I'm trying to flatten that area out. But every time I flatten it out, it creates a new ripple somewhere else. So that's what this microsol is for. So now I'm painting the microsol on. And this is going to make it soft. And I guess it melts it all away or something, but it, it makes it stick to the model. And it does say on the bottle of microsol, you can leave it dry and apply multiple layers of microsol over let it dry each time so if that's the case then that's what I'm gonna to have to do the decals that you get in the games workshop kits the it tends to be the shape of the chapter symbol so if you've got an imperial eagle the decal itself is going to be the shape of an imperial eagle with this stuff from light industries it seems the entire paper is decal so you've got to cut it close to the shape of the image if not you've just got a huge square like the previous one I cut that quite big and I just had a huge square that I had to deal with so I needed to cut it down so I'm just I'm going over this and I just keep dabbing it down not letting it pop up in any places as this microsol is setting With a nice soft brush, just painting it all down, and it seems to be doing the job. Now, I like how that red shows up quite well on the on the white. I like that. So I'll leave him. I'll let him set, and we'll see what he's like at the end. And as you guys can see, these models that I'm painting are part of the Mentors Legion. Uh, I've got a couple of videos on how I painted these guys, which you should see popping up in the top corner of your screen about now. Please head over and have a look at them if you're interested. So, following the same process, I've put decals on all of these marines and let them fully dry. Shows up quite nicely on the black pretty cool and then drop these out of the way got this guy still a few little wrinkles on that one but I've also stuck one on his front looks really cool and then on the side here so this one was from Citadel this one's from the vehicle kit and I've had to scratch it up to make it look damaged like the original one so what I'm gonna do now, like I said at the start, using the microsol, this stuff is actually a two-stage process. The second stage, you're supposed to use something called microset on top of it once it's all dried. But I don't have the microset and I'm not gonna use the microset. Instead, what I'm gonna do is seal them with a varnish. Now you see how that is very glossy Whereas this one is not so glossy. See them side by side? This one here has been painted with an anti-shine. This anti-shine by Army Painter. Acrylic varnish. So grab a brush, grab some anti-shine, and this does two things. It obviously knocks off the shine at its point. 
there's also a varnish, so it seals the whole thing in. Kind of giving it one extra layer on top of it to stick the decal to the model. Look at that, let that dry. Take the old chaplain, again, look at that, nice and shiny, he's got like matte on the black and then glossy on the decal. Looks a bit odd. So we're gonna matte varnish or anti-shine all across this. Now it still looks shiny when it's wet, obviously, but once it's dry, you won't see that. That's him done. And then on the dread. So there you go. We're gonna get rid of the shine on this part here. A nice thick coat to seal it in. And this is fully dry, so I can push it around, I can do whatever I want with it. It's not gonna move now, unless I put more Microsol on it. That would reactivate it. And then same here. Bit of anti-shine. And you're gonna let that, let all of those fully dry. Last one. You let those dry and come back in a little while. So here we have it, it's dry. And as you can see, the shine has been taken right out of it. And there's no wrinkles. It's gone on there nice and smooth. And it looks like it's been painted. Here's number two. Again, as you can see, nice and dry. And then we got the chaplain. Still a little glossy. So I'll give him another coat of anti shine. And then there's the big boy. Big old dread. And no shine. Stuck on nice and smooth. So there you go. That is how to apply water slate transfers. Take a look. So I hope you like the video guys. Please like and subscribe and give it a share. And I shall see you guys on the next video.